Hello YouTubers, if you guys have found this video, I'm going to assume you already know about the Bitcoin race that's going on. Uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doggycoin, Catcoin, Fedoracoin, there's a new one called uh, Malcoin or whatever it is. There's lots and lots of different ones. Purecoin has been around for a long time. Anyway, so I'm going to assume that, you know, you're on YouTube, you can already Google um, or YouTube a whole bunch of information on everything. So as with all things, basically anything can have value so long as there's enough people who will put value to something. It's like a painting. There's unknown, there are many unknown artists, there are very well-known artists, and it just depends with how much us as the people with the buying power will place onto it. So it's like a home. Um, when you're searching for a home, you do, you know, all the realtors tell you it's location, location, location. How much are you willing to pay for that home in that location? And if less people, or should I, should I say if more people, valued that home in that location as more and they keep upping the, the bid price on the home, that whole area goes up in price. Same thing with your analogy for coffee or anything else. Um, so likewise, for the coin stuff going on here, I'm not doing it to make quick money or anything like that. I'm just doing it in case something really does happen with it and I don't want to be the sore loser who hasn't had anything. So anyways, as per the title, I'm going to show you how to do CPU mining. It's not the most efficient way to do mining. Again, you guys can read everything on the internet, but I'm doing this because right now the difficulty level, as per down here, uh, for the doggy coin is very, very low. And also the block size is very, very large with a lot of coins to mine for. So using a very, very low end machine can get you lots of coins. And I'll show you what I've been getting with an old laptop which has one of those Centrino CPUs so don't tell you you know that's gonna be really low power again if you're watching YouTube I'm gonna assume that if you're a techie person you know what's going on so you can see the dates the time and how many coins are being processed and as you saw the hash rate was only 6k in the background here this is an APU machine and I have the intensity set to 11 which is very low Again, if you guys have any questions, just pop me a message below and I'll be more than happy to answer anything. This is a very quick tutorial on how to do um, CPU mining for doggy coin. So I'm set up with luckyminers.com. So that's going to be doggy, D-O-G-E dot luckyminers.com. And you need to register, set them up, or sorry, let me say it again, set up your workers in this case. I'm going to set up a CPU and it's very simple. You just type in, you know, in here, CPU, password, add new worker, and it's going to pop out like this. Then what you need to do is go on the internet and you need to go and download a program called Pooler CPU Miner. There's a 32 bit, 64 bit. All right. And also Google for this file, stratnum underscore proxy dot exe because that's what you're going to need to do so that you're not using as much internet bandwidth and being more efficient with your CPU mining. For time, I've already extracted the files and this is all the files with the stratnumproxy.exe in there. You're going to have to make two batch files. You're going to have to make the first one, which is the proxy, the stratnumproxy, and then the other one that actually does the mining. And just because I know this is probably going to show up really small on YouTube, I put this into a file here. So the first file, this is what you want to type out. All right. So this enables you to do long polling to the pool. Dash O basically means where I'm going to the URL. And in this case is stratum dash EU for Europe, doggy dot miners com. And this is the port setting three through one three. OK, it may differ for whoever else you're going to choose to do your pooling. And then the second batch file is the one that's actually going to be using this CPU pooler. Okay. And this is what it is. It's script. Doggy coins are script. Retries one. Thread just one. And again, because, oh, sorry, I, I might have forgotten to explain something properly here. The reason why you need this run proxy pooler is because you don't have, um, it, it doesn't support it. You know, the pool that most of your pools, 95% 90, of pools aren't going to have um, anything set up for CPU mining because it's not e efficient and again that's why I'm making this tutorial because if you're looking for it the information might be limited out there 
So when you do this, this is this is a little, um, I guess, how do you say, it? it's like a little agent that's gonna run locally. And this is what's gonna create that connection to this URL. So when you're mining, you point to yourself on port 8332, because this file here opens itself on port 8332. And then you put in your worker name and the password, as per what I showed you earlier, right here. And then when you start it up, make sure you start the pooler first. So here you go. This is the pooler. And now it's pulling from that site. And then now start up your miner. And here you go. You're hashing away. It's as simple as that. It's really, really simple. Hopefully in this little demo here, I already quickly show you um, that it will find things. Now again, I'm, I'm using the part of the CPU, part of the GPU to do other things, so it might be a little slow. Anyways, it's very, very simple to do. And if you're also on here looking for Litecoin, I do use Hypernova. It's a really good pool, very good hash rate. Here you go. Um, very good folks to use. But uh, yeah, for the doggy coins, as I showed you guys before, this is just using the little mobile laptop that I have. Very, very weak CPU. And it gets quite a few coins. And this here was done with a Radeon 5770. And yeah, that's about it. So anyways, again, if you have any questions, leave some comments below. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Again, if it isn't, ask, and I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Have fun, and keep digging.